If you've clicked on this video, that means you want to learn how to play the saxophone. Well, you came to the right person. Today, I'm going to teach you how to play the saxophone in eight easy steps. Let's get started, shall we? So, the first step is pretty simple. Desire. In order to, to learn the art of the saxophone, you're going to need to want to learn the art of the saxophone. You're going to have to want to want it, you know? Learning the saxophone takes hard work uh, and dedication and countless hours of practicing. If you don't feel up to it, then you're never going to learn it. And you're just going to be stuck with a 2,000 something thousand piece of metal, uh, paper weight, you know? So, um, provided that you, you want to be able to learn the saxophone and you have the will and the free time to learn it, um, then you, I mean you've got you got step one covered. You're you're good. All right, step two is saxophone. Once you've figured out that you're ready to learn the saxophone, you're gonna need to pick out a saxophone that's right for you. You can play alto. You can play tenor. You can play baritone. You can play soprano. Personally, I enjoy playing alto. Alto's the best. It's up to you. If you're if you're a large person. You might look a little strange playing an alto, but also you gotta make sure that you get a good brand. Uh, some good brands that I can think of off the top of my head: Antigua, like the one that I have. You know, you got your your Yamaha, you got once you you figured out the saxophone that's right for you. Obviously, you have to buy one unless it's a hand-me-down or something, in which case you don't really get to choose what kind you want. So this part is kind of like technically optional. Uh... Sometimes when you buy a saxophone, it comes with a case. Other times, it may not. They may, it may just be a loose saxophone. Really, the case is important because it keeps the instrument safe. Basically, that's, that's its only purpose. You don't need anything really fancy. You just need something that's going to keep the instrument safe and dry. And if you want a saxophone case for the cheap, um, you can pretty much just put it in anything you want. I have put mine in a tote bag uh, that I got from Lake Tahoe. So, you know, it's really just anything that, that holds the instrument is, is great. So, yeah. <laughs> If you've already done your research, you'll know that in order to play the saxophone, you're going to need reeds. The reed you use and the quality of the reed that you use um, can make or break your saxophone career. If you have a bad reed, it'll sound bad. If you have a good reed, you might still sound bad. I recommend Rico brand. Now when you buy reeds, you're going to have like a number assigned to them. This is basically just their their hardness, how, how hard it is to play on them. Lower numbers make it easier, so um, really, the lower the number, the better you're going to sound. These are probably the best reeds on the market um, at this moment in time. Um, until they create some kind of super reed, um, these are going to be the best ones you can find. It, it is very important that you maintain the, the shape and the quality of your reed. Here's, here's the one that I'm going to be using. Um, it's a little beat up. I've been using it for a while, but it should it should do the trick. Basically, this is the key to making any kind of sound on your saxophone. So, it's very important, first of all, that you that you even have a reeds. Well, all really all you need is one. So, as long as you have a reed that's in relatively good shape, then you're golden. <laughs> Now that you've got you've got your saxophone in your case, uh, you've got your reed. Um, you can you can now put together the instrument if you if you so if you so desire. All right, now let's begin uh, taking the, the parts of the saxophone out of the out of my my uh, tote bag here. You've got your neck strap. It's pretty standard. This is gonna go around your neck so that you don't have to hold your saxophone because you know saxophone players are lazy. You just put it over your, over your neck, 
it dangles. It, it, it holds your saxophone. There's like a little clip on the end of it, so you can clip it on onto your sax saxophone. We've got the mouthpiece. You're gonna be blowing on this, and your your mouth is gonna be on it. Obviously, that's why it's called the mouthpiece. It's also a very good idea to keep this in relatively good shape. You know, it doesn't need to be perfect. It can have a little slime on it. Here we have our ligature. It's a little piece of metal. This is going to uh, secure the reed to the mouthpiece. So uh, when the time comes to put the reed on the mouthpiece, this is what's going to hold it on. You've got your, your neck. This is like the top part of the saxophone. connects to the mouthpiece as such. Um, and this is the cork right here. Now if your cork is kind of beaten up, then it's going to be hard for you to play. So, you know, there's a lot of things that you have to to keep in good shape and kind of maintain. This is one of them. If it's not good, then you're not good. And then, obviously, we have this part of the saxophone, uh, the body. You know, it's really just, it's the main part of the entire instrument. It's, it's what makes a saxophone a saxophone. You're not just going to be blowing right into this. That's not a saxophone. What is this? Take your neck and put it on top like that. And there's little screws here that you can screw in. You just got to make sure that you, you screw it in all the way so that it's, it's tight. Because so you don't want this falling out. It's going to suck if that happens to you. <laughs> Trust me. Put that, put that down. Put that away for a minute. Take your reed and your mouthpiece. And just kind of make them, make them love each other, you know, just put them together. Just like that, just make them touch, just put them together. Perfect. You, you're already learning so much. Take your ligature, put it right over your reed and your mouthpiece, and it should fasten perfectly right here as such. Here's another, here's a close-up of that happening that that ligature action and there you go and then there's screws here as well that you you need to tighten so that the reed stays on the right way it should look something like this so that's gonna give you that quality sound and that's that's really the key to playing saxophone is just the reed um, and, and you know assembling it correctly once you have your reed on strapped on your mouthpiece you can take this other part of it and just put the, the, the mouthpiece right on the cork. Don't have to put it too far on. Just far enough so that it, it's, you know, it's on there. Obviously it's not going to come off uh, anytime soon. Once you've got that done, just uh, take your neck strap and uh, just kind of, usually there's like a little, a little hoop here. So just kind of take your, your thing and just click it on there. Some, some neck straps don't have the clicky thing, so just, you know. Also, sometimes uh, saxophones come with with uh, a little chapstick. It might make your playing better somehow. I don't really know how it works. Um, I like to apply it before I play every time, so I, th I really think it contributes to my sound. Um, so I'm just going to put some on right now. There we go. That's perfect. That's going to... It's gonna give us that, that nice, warm, lovely sound. It's it's perfect. You have your saxophone, your entire saxophone assembled. The next step is blow. Hard. You're just gonna put your mouth on it, right on the mouthpiece, like this. And just uh, once you got that, just bite down on the top of the, bite down on the top of the mouthpiece and. Give it a nice hard blow. And there you go. I mean, you've already made a sound out of your saxophone. You're doing, you're doing great. From the moment you unbox the saxophone, at the at that very moment, you're not gonna be a pro. You know, um, I've been playing for several years and uh, it took me a long time to master the art of saxophone so if you don't get it right away just be patient and you know pretty soon you'll be able to play like me 
and you'll be you'll be an, an excellent saxophone player just like me. It, it takes it takes time, it takes practice, and it takes dedication. But really, anyone can do it. Once you've practiced hard enough and and put in enough hours, you should start. You should begin to sound pretty pretty good on the saxophone. And that's really that's really the main goal of learning any instrument, I guess. But I mean, if you're a saxophone master like I am. If you turn out to be one, that makes me proud because I I have been your teacher in the, in this hard time of, of beginning beginning to learn the sax the art of the saxophone. So um, that's pretty much it. Just remember the eight steps: desire, saxophone, reads, assemble, blow, patience, mastery, or for short, discrepancy. If you follow the steps in this video, you should be a saxophone master in no time.